Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm going to be playing against uh, Viper again for the Untap Open League. This is Vintage. And uh, look at this opening hand from, from Viper. Revealed it. This is, uh, so I have 22 lands. Uh, <laughs> poor guy, poor guy. With a Golos, this is still playable. This is a uh, Golos Stacks, which apparently is supposed to be distinguished from Golos Shops, I think. Maybe? Because I've seen like Ravager Shops with Golos in it. But no, this is this is Golo Stacks. Um <laughs> Alright, so I, I just I held open so that you all could see that. So my hand, I'm running Golden Gun Oath. Uh, I don't have Oath, but uh, I am gonna be on the draw and I have a Gitaxian probe and I have Force Mental Misstep to keep myself in the game a little bit. And I have Black Lotus and a fetch land for thinning. I might be able to get there. Um, and even if I don't, the deck has a few other ways that it can win, or at the very least hold my opponent off. But yeah, uh, that's that's quite the hand. Whoo! Randomizer sometimes. Yeah, the randomizer didn't was not your friend there. 22 lands. Now granted, you can already kind of see what they're trying to do. I mentioned Golos is in here, where Golos gets Karakas, Karakas bounces Golos, play Golos again, get Avengers Fair. Uh, Caracas bounds Golos. Play gets something else. Inventor's Fair gets to loot. Gets Crucible of Worlds. Uh, Crucible of Worlds lets you get back Inventor's Fair. If you have all the time in the world, then you have this ridiculous engine. Otherwise, you have a bunch of bullets. Like you have the Tabernacle at Pendle Vale. You have uh, Bajuka Bog. Let's actually take a look real quick. Hello? Maybe? May? Oh, oh, that's right. I, I haven't moved it over to. Here we go. Let's see. Hello? Hello? Whale. Let's, let's try this real quick. I am good at computers, folks. Yeah, this may take a sec. Alright, hello. <laughs> you know what, while that's loading... Alright, so seven cards, we won't get a chance to think, keep thinking on bottom. Fair enough. Hi right, Viper. Yeah, there you are. Okay, so this is this is Viper's list. You're looking at the main board now. Uh, my favorite little bit in here is God Pharaoh's statue. That's pretty interesting. But there's the Crucible. There's the Staring Bridge, which will make it hard for me. I I will have a tough time beating that if it comes down. Uh, but most of the rest of this is fine. I no rod smoke. Only one smokestack. So maybe it is. Okay. So uh, keeping. Here we go. Looks like we are good to go. There's a uh, Mishra's workshop. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna have my finger over the A button just in case. <laughs> Black Lotus is good. It's gonna be a ton of. Is this a turn one Golos? Please be turn one Golos. That would just make my day. With the Forcible here. Let's see. Uh... You know, we have enough lands, we can just let this resolve. Uh, but that's going to leave them with four, effectively three mana. I believe that this is fine. It feels rough, but I believe that this is fine. I have enough lands, I can let this go. Alright. Um, it's interesting. Uh, that does mean the Black Lotus is dead in hand. That's a little unfortunate. But it was going to be dead regardless, so uh, it could be much worse. Oko! <laughs> Never mind, Black Lotus is not dead. Oko is a win con. Uh, so, because of that, uh, I say we crack the fetch land first. Or at least we hold it up. We hold up the fetch land. We don't crack it yet because Wasteland strip mine our cards. And we can use that for Force of Will later on. That is a 4 mana Oka, though, so I do need to be careful. I do need to find another source first. I say we wait. I would like to use Gitaxian Probe later when there's potential for more information. Plus, if I use Gitaxian Probe, I can't hold up Force of Will as well. Uh, because Gitaxian Probe will cost 1 mana and 2 life, so we're just going to pass here. It, it would not be worth it. I'll, I'll get to play two free spells for two mana. <laughs> oh, get, look at that. Golos, do it. Alright, 
wait, 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 wait. First, we have to crack this. Alright. And there's nothing the opponent's going to be able to do in this spot. I will go and get... They've already played their land. And I already have a basic, so I think it, even with the Forbidden Orchard, it's right to go get one of my color sources, which means... I guess I go get Bayou here, actually, because I do have some black mana in the deck. So I'll have a green source and a blue source. So we go get Bayou here. Okay, whenever it decides... Hey, there we go. So my apologies for the slow internet, folks. I am sorry about that. Let's exile it and lose another life. And there goes Golos. And that that feels a lot better. I, I'm in a, a much better spot now because I have so many more cards in hand. And this Null Rod actually does shut down some of what the opponent's doing. It's, it's a bit of a necessary evil. Uh, you'll notice that they run four Null Rods, so they try to work around that as best they can. Um, oh, I guess that's just how much colorless mana they have in the pool, which is none, but what are we doing? Shops. Oh, it's specifically for sh Okay, so one is... I, okay, I thought one was going to be shops mana, which, which does matter sometimes. Um, hmm, okay. So we can actually crack the fetch first, just for some deck thinning. Make it a little bit more likely that we find what we need. Just a little bit. And I think that there's, there's a strong case to be made here for doing that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to first fetch. It's, it's a marginal difference, but it is a difference nonetheless. So we're getting a tropical island. This will allow me to tap Bayou for the Gitaxian probe instead. And who boy. Hello? Man, that's slow. There we... maybe? There we go. So what have I been doing today? I've been playing Street Fighter. Oh, yeah, we are in great shape. Oh my goodness, we're in good shape. Alright, and then we'll draw a card. Uh, of course, as soon as I say that, watch them have something. But, you know, <laughs> you, you can't play around everything. Uh, and then we'll pass the turn. <coughs> Man, uh, this Black Lotus can eventually turn into a 3-3 for me. That would be nice. The Null... Oh, double Null Rod. Well, might as well. Might as well. Okay, so Oko's not going to be turning those into creatures anytime soon. If there's two of them, no. That's just not how we're... All right, play the Mox. Play the Mox. Yep. <laughs> might as well. Okay, well, my turn. Let's go. I admit, I'm not feeling all that great right now, but I'm not feeling too poorly. It's it's just... It is what it is, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to play an island. Let's see. How many cards are in the yard? Just four. Effectively, Dig Through Time is nine mana thanks to Sphere. So we are, we are at effectively seven. So we're not there yet, of course. So we can go Black Lotus so that I have a 3-3 to attack next turn. And I can, I can play a Ponder here. L let's start off with the Ponder. We are going to... <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> I'm sorry. We are going to fill our yard anyway. Okay, so that's, that's good. They're, uh, they're not running a deck that can do anything about that. Let me make sure I, I do the right thing here. So look at the top three. Oh, yeah, I mean, why the heck not? That's almost perfect. That That is. So we're going to move Force of Will to the top of the deck, since we're not going to be able to cast the Oath of Druids this turn anyway. So that we can draw it, and if we need to, in a pinch. All right, there we go. In a pinch, uh, we'll be able to counter something. Don't forget to actually draw. There we go. I did play land. Pass the turn. I, I, I saw that in a previous game in the league, I ended up playing an extra land. Because I, I played like a, a strip mine or a wasteland. And then played another land. Because I forgot. Oh yeah, I played a land. Oh, that actually slows us down just a bit. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Because we're going to have four mana. Uh... uh 
yes. Um. <clears throat> yeah, we, we still don't care about it, do we? I think we're okay with this. I'm gonna say no response, and then yeah, no response. Go to my turn, draw, geez, I wonder what my next card will be. Alright, joking. Yeah, yeah, there we go, folks. And they're, they're off the top, so, uh... I'll, I'll get by. I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, I've been practicing some Street Fighter today. I've I've been playing... So Dalsim is my main in every Street Fighter game that I've played anyway, prior to... Uh, prior to 5. And I know there's a bunch of different versions of 2, a few different of 3, uh, but, you know, I haven't... I haven't had a chance to play literally all of them. Shoutouts to Rainbow Edition. But, uh, I've been playing Guile, and then I kind of fell in love with Cammy from, uh, you know, just from practicing her a bit. I kind of got forced to play her for a, li a little bit, and accidentally, because of the, the input leniency that there is it, for specials, um, I was able to do some of her shenanigans, and I just thought she's kind of cool. I think she's in the current season of the game. I think she's something like mid-high tier, maybe? She's at, she, I can't see her being lower than mid-tier. And to be fair, from season to season, characters can change a lot. Zangief was terrible in season one, one of the best in the game in season two, terrible again in season three. So it, I mean, there's a lot that can change. Uh, but I believe that it's the case right now that she's kind of stupid, <laughs> in a good way. There's Academy, and they can do nothing but attack. Swing for one. I mean, they can. There we go. Yep. And then pass on to me. Now this is a... Oath is a May. That is a May. Uh, whenever they... Yep, there we go. So we're gonna... Actually, let's untap first. That's important. Alright, let's see. Let's discard... One... Two... Okay, let's, let's not do that. The, with my luck, this will take a while. Alright, there's part of the time machine. There's Assassin's Trophy, so none of that anymore. They can still... I mean, if they find an ensnaring bridge off the top, then they're okay. I can feel my focus sapping, seeping away, so let me, let me focus for a moment, because I'm, I'm tired. I may not... I may miss one. Seems like I'm going slow, that's why. Slowly, that's why. Oh, gosh. Whale? See, this is my luck. And this this often happens with Oath, but... Yeah. Wow. Look how many cards are left in the deck, folks. Okay, oh, we got Dragon Breath. We got Dragon Breath. Please be blight steel. Why does this always happen? Look how few cards are left. <laughs> Why, deck? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> and I know the last card, too. Oh, Anne. Became Anne. And if somehow they were a deck that had anything cute that they could do, and there's Emrakul. The last two cards, again. Yeah, let's not hit the end turn button. The randomizer is messing with us. <laughs> you know it. Okay, so that's Golden Gun. That's how Golden Gun works, folks. 
that's the second time this league where the bottom two, like where I had, uh, uh, well, okay, now to be fair, the last time I actually put Emrakul on the bottom, so that was expected. That, that wasn't too bad. But the bottom three cards of the deck were all uh, Plate Steel, Dragon Breath, Emrakul. Good times. Yeah, let's play another. Let's do it. Let's go. Absolutely. Uh, okay, I'll remember to do it correctly this time. Maybe. Okay, we got there. It's still out of alphabetical order on the in the sideboard for no reason, but, you know, we, we got there. So let's put in the cards that we absolutely have to have. Null Rod is, is weird because they're actually running a bunch of Null Rods themselves. If I'm on the play, Null Rod is fine. On the draw, I can't. It's not enough. So Gisela is, again, for Ravager Shops, but probably not this one, to be honest. Um, so I don't... I think it's still better, probably. Yeah, it's better to have Emrakul. All right, we're going to keep the actual creatures the same then. Uh, there is a case to be made for dealing with their graveyard. Uh, Grafdigger's Cage, obviously, we can't run, but Tormod's Crypt and Ravenous Trap. Well, not Tormod's Crypt, because Null Rod, so it would have to be Ravenous Trap. Chalice on the draw. Damping Sphere comes in regardless. Um. Oh, this is tough, man. This is tough. Let, let's see if I have enough dead spots to bring it. Now, here's the, here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. Crucible of Worlds is an engine piece, and if they don't have a graveyard, then they won't be able to get stuff back. Additionally, Spine of Ishsaw, when it goes to the grave, aka when you sack it to Smokestack, then you get to put it back in your hand. Well, we would like for them not to be able to do that, so we'd like to be able to exile it in response. Um, buried Ruin. <sighs> no, let, let's, let's see if we have any open spots first. Any definite outs here. Um, so Flusterstorm, obviously, doesn't do anything. Force of Will, I think I have to keep it. Gush seems a little slow. Imperial Seal, I'd like to still be able to have it. You know, there's a case, I think, to take out the Time Vault, or the Time Machine combo. I don't know how likely they are to have... Hmm... So they have one Graft Digger's Cage in the sideboard, which they're going to be able to tutor up. Narset's good enough. Can't take out lands, I think. It's probably going to be Gush or Seal, if I had to say. Seal, because Gush still pitches to Force of Will and gives me something to do in response to Wasteland Strip Mine. I think that that's right. I believe that that's correct. So we're going to take out Imperial Seal, even though it gets combo pieces. I think Gush is... Now, one issue with Gush in the deck, and something I should have considered, is that we don't have a lot of actual islands. Bayou, the Four Forbidden Orchard, and Library, Wasteland, Strip Mine are not islands. So that that's actually kind of tough. Okay. Wake up. You can do this. Ay, ay, ay. Here we go. Um. Well, you know, Channel is great, but I have nothing to spend it on yet. We have library. Oh, oh my goodness. That library is not going to actually do it. But. <laughs> but. Oh, I'm out of tea. Hmm. Well, rip me, I guess. Uh, we'll, we'll say keep. It has one of the pieces for Oath, and it has channel. Uh, and channel lets me hard cast. This is not a deck that's going to be dealing a lot of damage to us, so we're going to, until the point where we're dead, basically, be able to use Channel to get Blightsteel, or Emrakul, uh, or Karn into Blightsteel, or Karn into Mycosynth Lattice, which is actually what we would do, not, not Blightsteel. Alright, let's see. So Viper's finished. I play? Yes, you do. Oh, oh, sorry, it doesn't do that automatically. 
That's right. That's right. Okay. Tell you something after the match about game one. Oh. Nice. Thank you. All right. Yeah, um, this is gonna be sweet. If you're on the play and you have library, you kind of just have to play library, pass turn, hope you don't have to do anything, and then on your next turn... Oh, is that a strip mine? Uh, well, we're only getting one turn out of this library. But, on the bright side, we can force them to wait to strip the library. So that'll be good. That's nice. Oh, and we, we have Oath! How did... I... I'm a genius. Oh, sorry. Okay. I'm a genius. Alright. How? How did I miss that? I, I got so hung up on the channel. I, I told you I was tired, folks. I told you. Everyone in the audience is like, why did you not see that? No, it's okay. It's fine. Alright, so this is three. Going into a... Oh, it's four going into a lodestone golem. Ooh. Something spicy. Now, this only affects non-artifacts. So we're going to say it's okay. And then... That's a decent clock. That's a 5-3. We have time, but we don't have a lot of time. The good news is, we're still... Given what we have right now, we're still going to be able to go library first. They'll strip the library, but we'll get a card out of it. If we find a mox... It, it actually won't... Yeah, okay. I'm going to say library first. Maybe I activate the library now. No, I don't. No, I don't. Because they, they, I could represent force of will. Alright. So thinking if I activated the library now, it might bait Viper into trying to stri uh, not strip it because it's already tapped, so it's gotten the utility out. Uh oh. Um. I don't know. I don't know. They're gonna take one. Doesn't actually matter though. This is a quick clock, folks. I am not. I'm not looking forward to the cheese. All right, that's fun. This is five mana, which is Golos mana if they don't strip the library here. Which... Let's see if they're doing it. And Golos is a 4 of, so if it, it seems like I'm always playing around it, it is a 4 of, so there's a decent chance. Let's see what they're doing. Nope, oh, nope, nope, nope. Here it comes. There was a time when in Vintage this wasn't restricted, and so you could legitimately do it. Wait a minute. Sorry, one, two, okay. One, two, three, um, uh, and make sure I'm, I'm not missing something. So this was one, two, three, four. You are five mana. Mox. I think Vipers may be doing the math, too. Because this doesn't make your artifacts cheaper. It makes non-artifacts cost one more. So, one from Strip Mine. What about Mox? Needs to be tapped as well for the fifth mana. It, it, just give him a sec. It'll, it, it happens. I needed to lose one from Vault that I missed. Yeah, so Telerian Academy is add blue to your mana pool for each artifact you control, and this is still in the stack, so this would be one, two, three, so three mana here, plus the one from Strip Mine is four. Yeah. 
right? So you'd have to tap the mox as well. D does does Viper not realize Golos is five? Okay. Okay, that may have been what happened. Maybe Viper forgot that Golos is five. It it happens. It's a weird of card with a weird effect. Uh. <laughs> it's thought strip mine was Oh the weird art. The odd art. <laughs> okay. Hey, that's fine. That ha Oh, that's why there was two life lost. Oh that's Let me make sure we get that put back then. Oh I I I missed the life lost. You're good. <laughs> it happens. Okay. Okay. Life goes on. It's fine. Oh, and you hit it earlier. Oh, wow. Um, I, I completely missed that then. Okay. So, Golos. <laughs> uh, I've had plenty of time to think. It's not anything they could... I guess we'll... Um... Oh, we tap it here. Uh, I should say thinking. Um, yeah, I mean, if, once I tap it, there's nothing I can cast in response, so... We're gonna say it's good. Oh, hello. I meant in here. There we go. Q. Ah... Uh. Okay. Okay. Alright. So Golos is getting... Oh! You know, it could be Caracas. That would be interesting. Because Caracas would actually blank Emrakul. And that's also usually what you get anyway in this spot, because it lets you bounce Golos. So Caracas would... would have to be the right answer, right? I mean, the land card comes in tapped, but still... Still, that's that's not nothing. I ignore the last ability, by the way. All you care about is that Golos is an artifact, and it's legendary, and it goes and gets a land. Tapped. Uh, so there's there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. Okay. Uh, that comes in tapped. But yeah, we're in trouble, folks. We're in trouble, Barney Rubble. Hello? Hey, there we go. It got there. Uh, gonna do this first. I'll, I'll clarify EOT just to make sure. That's what you do anyway, but just to make sure that this isn't on upkeep. You know, there's no confusion about that. Okay, so now we'll go draw a card. I can go Mox for it. Let's do that first, since that's that's a given. I'm gonna try to get myself. I need to use one more card. Uh, and I can use all three to get Oath, because it's only being made one more expensive. <sighs> since they didn't get Caracas, we might be in okay shape here. I'm gonna have to fetch for a blue source. I don't need the Forbidden Orchard. Indeed, I definitely don't want them to have Forbidden Orchard here. Um, I guess it needs to be a fetch land then. So otherwise I don't have a green source. So we'll fetch. Only made one more expensive. Make them regret not getting rid of that library earlier. To be fair, they were probably... well, no, that wouldn't be it. Um, Alright, so we're gonna go and get... It doesn't really matter. Uh, I guess I'll get a trop just because I have redundant copies, so I, I hold that flexibility for later on. Hello? There we go. Alright. And they can't respond, so... 
past turn. Okay, let's see what we're working with. Uh, Oath is traditionally very favored against Ravager shops. Golo shops has fewer creatures and more hate, so it, it gets a little iffy there. They also, by the way, didn't go and get uh, Inventor's Fair. They were hard in on the... That's a weird way of putting it. They were all in. Oh, there's the Grafdigger's Cage. Nice. We're not dead yet. They better hit this library, though. Uh, so that's eight. I go down six. Hello? There we go. We're not dead yet. Tis but a flesh wound. <laughs> Shouts to Monty Python. Alright, let's see what they have. Do your worst. Ooh! Realistically, we're dead now. Alright, there we go. Now we're dead. Uh, it's my understanding that Viper is not a big fan of the mentality of, uh, you... <laughs> what is it? You, uh, you win 0% of the games where you concede? Uh, well, we can cast this Emerald for one mana. Alright. I'm just making sure, before I concede, there's not anything that I can do here. Doesn't look like there is. You know, I could... Maybe I could show them the Time Vault, and then take Time Vault out for next game. That would be interesting, so that they still have their Null Rods in. Yeah, I, I feel like doing that. I feel like doing that, folks. Oh, wait a minute. This is two mana, so I actually can't cast it anyway, unfortunately. Oh, well, that's a drag. Oh, well. Boop. Game three. <laughs> is there a... a Finish and play another game. There we go. Waiting to see if they would like to play another. That that seemed okay. That seemed now. There's only one Graft Digger's Cage in the deck, and uh, you got it that time. All right, here we go. Should have me back to where it was. All right, so now Chalice comes in. On the play, Chalice comes in. Um. We also still bring in Damping Sphere, and maybe, just maybe, we bring in Null Rod, too. We bring in Null Rod if we're taking out the Time Vault, the Time Machine combo. Oh, wait a minute, there's Imperial Seal. Huh, okay, so it made this alphabetical again, but it kept the sideboard cards in, so if that's the case, Energy Flux, there you are. Okay. So Damping Sphere is not in here, after all that. Okay, well, in that case, is there anything else? Null Rod, maybe. Um, Null Rod on the play is interesting. Chalice and Null Rod are basically going to try to get the opponent on, you know, their Moxen. They don't have a lot of artifacts with activated abilities, though. Indeed, that's part of why they're able to run so many. They have their Moxen, their Black Lotus, but if I can keep them off of an early start, that might actually be worth it. Um, I, I think that might be a little bit cute, though, to be honest. Especially since their lands can make Sphere anyway. Okay. Let's look at their side... Oh, jeez, what did I just do? Let's look at the sideboard again. Another Crucible can come in. And Staring Bridge definitely has to be in. Graft Digger's Cage, of course. Um... Surgical in response to Oath is actually a thing, so presumably at the very least it's Bridge, Cage, double or Triple Surgical. 
I don't know that they would bring anything else in. Okay. Well. Man. Gotta find that Karn, then. In that case, I guess we don't bring in the Null Rod. Yeah, I guess we don't. I just need to find one more card to bring out, and it's probably Gush. I'm sorry, Gush, you're a great card. But, for what we're doing here, maybe not great enough. Gush is better on the play, though, uh, to be fair. Gush is definitely better on the play, so... And Gush gets around Chalice. Hmm. That's... that's... That's a difficult decision. That, that seems like it might not be right, but to be honest, Gush is the kind of card that maybe shouldn't have been in the deck in the first place. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take out Gush. Let's go. <laughs> Viper manually draws. Alright, it shuffled me. Good, as you do. Alright, here goes nothing. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Well, I mean... Turn one, Oath. Then we can uh, fire off Oath, time walk to get that extra turn. Yeah, I say we keep it. Just make them live under the... <laughs> under the overbearing Oath. Plus we have Oko to turn on Oath, so even if we don't happen to find... Alright, cool. Let's go. Land. Mox. Oath. And then pass the turn. And please have Craft Digger's Cage so that I can make it into a creature with Oko. No Joko. What just happened? Okay, cool. Whew, I'm tired. I can feel it. I can feel it. Alright, there's a Mox. Good. 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 We're okay. And we don't have red mana for uh, Dragon Breath, unfortunately. Ooh, Smokestack! Uh, say no response. Now they can. S <laughs> why not? <laughs> that is a good question, my friend. Alright. So, no way to give them a creature yet. So, we're going to. Oh, and we can't cast Detutor either. Yet. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> the water's over here. Okay. Um. Well, we get to do all of the things. You know. Okay. So, Black Lotus. Uh, Emerald Black Lotus for blue. Oko, turn it into a creature. Time walk. Oh, yeah, 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 let's just do it. Blue, blue, blue. Okay. <laughs> um, I guess I need to make... Well, I, I, you know what, actually, let's just add a counter here. So the opponent... So Oko starts at four, we're going to make it five. And then shake, smokestack. So smokestack is now an elk, as everything in magic, um, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, creatures to elk. That's how that works in, in magic. My Oko senses are tingling. <laughs> oh, uh, you called it. You called it. Yeah, Oko's only, I believe, a two of in the deck, and honestly, it could very well be more. Uh, I think if I were to make a change now, Oko probably goes into Gush. Like, if Gush becomes Oko. As weird as that may sound, because it, it turns on Oath, it's a win con on its own, it gets rid of problem artifacts. Yeah! <laughs> it's so stupid. And then, oh, there we go. Elk. I just added the word Elk. Sorry. Fair enough.
using the floating mana. Okay, and uh, I guess I'll say next turn. <sighs> See if we're okay. That's a really unfortunate turn of events. Yeah, this deck is silly. In the best possible way, this deck is silly. So we will go to our next turn. Um, we'll trigger Oath. They can't respond, so we'll just do it, I guess. Okay. One way I can lose is by losing my attention here for a bit. Manifold key, okay. Well, I guess we won't be assembling the time machine this game. Really won't be assembling it now. Alright, focus. Well, there's Blight Steel. <laughs> Man, <laughs> no dragon breath this time. No spicy breath. Uh, yeah, there's the Iron Giant. Uh, and then we will go, I guess, draw. Strip mine. Do we do it to him, folks? I think we do it to him. Beep. Alright. Um... <laughs> I'm tempted to turn that into another creature. Just... <laughs> just to do it. Uh, yeah, no haste. And then... Exchange control of target artifact or creature you control, and target creature and opponent controls with power 3 or less. Well, we can't take their elk, because then they'll get a trigger, and then they'll get Golos. Not that it matters too much, but I still I would like to make sure that I do the right thing. Um, if I make another elk... You know, I, th I think we just plus Oko here. Make a food token. Where is... <laughs> oh, you know what? I should draw. <laughs> I should draw on the play area. Let's not. Food! Corn. Cake. Roast. Fruit. Oh, fruit! Okay. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's just the... It's just the... Fruit token. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it might be somebody's custom shenanigans. Yeah, let's, let's move you back here, buddy. Um, and then, for my next trick, I guess I will pass the turn. I guess. Okay. What you gonna do? And, yeah, well, you know what? Oh, I should have turned it into an art of... No, it's... No, 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 no. Don't, don't turn that ruby into a creature. It will absolutely make... Trigger Oath, and then Immerkul will be the bottom card, because that's my luck. Killing all my dreams. Uh, we, we have it. We don't need to go extra. What? Discord? Why? I'm blue screened. Oh no! Viper blue screened! Okay. Um, well, it's okay. We, we can see what it looks like. Uh, no worries. I'll wait. Just let him know. Okay. Um, so my initial thought was not to give a... not to turn this into... Oh, this into a creature. Um because I would not have liked to lose my Oko, but I do have a blocker. I'm so used to being able to attack with Dragon Breath that I was thinking of this being tapped. And, of course, even if this had attacked and then been chumped, it still wouldn't have been enough to kill Oko. So, on that, no. But then we also have to worry about Immerkul being the bottom card. And this isn't a deck that has a card like Memory's Journey, I believe it's called, that can shuffle cards back in. Uh, Unfortunately, if Immercool is the bottom card, then I just lose the game. And there's no need to force that here. We're already so far ahead, we don't need to go there. I am curious to see what happens to be up here. I, I told you folks, I'm tired, so 
Uh, pardon me if I'm a little slow while we play this game. I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Uh, but yes, the food token here is unnecessary. I, I should have turned this into a creature, because then they won't be able to use it for mana, so it mana screws them even further. Um, and the odds of Imrakul being the bottom card... Wait, actually, you know what? The player may reveal. It's not a must. This is not old wording. That, that is currently the case as well may reveal. So I could have turned it into a creature and just not triggered Oath, actually. Wake up. You know, I'm gonna, if he's, if he's blue screened... <laughs> Alright. Oh dear, oh dear. So how are you, YouTube? I'm fine. I'm okay. <laughs> it could be much worse. It, there are people that have it way worse than I do. I'm up a game. I have a great kid. I'm playing magic. I have a slow internet, but I have internet still. And... Uh, it's okay. Alright, I guess in the meantime, you know, one thing I can do is... Let's draw on the play area. Um, so let, uh, let's see. What food that I am capable... I wonder if it'll let me do uh, with the touchscreen. I have a touchscreen here. Okay, so what food... Uh, you know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, no, it won't. I have to actually click. Oh, does it only give me one at a time? Oh, that's lame. Okay, well then. Um, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> See if anyone can tell what I'm trying to draw. Emphasis on trying. Oh, oh, I just realized that's not going to work too well. This part's not going to work too well. Alright, this is what you came to watch, folks, I'm sure. <laughs> what am I even doing? Okay. I'm going to have a hard time with the, the middle part of this. I guess while I'm here, we'll, we'll do this section, too. Back! Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> if you have any idea what this is, what this monstrosity is... Oh jeez, that's not what that's supposed to look like. <laughs> you know, anyone know what that is? If you if you have any earthly idea what that's supposed to be, Cookie Monster. Um, nom, 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 nom. Ah, me like cookie. Okay. You know I should have gotten a cookie token. Oh, I should have drawn it around the cookie token. Oh well. Okay. Um. I hope you got to see that. Got to, got yo, got to go see that. The smoke. Uh. Did you see the drawing? Any idea what it was? I, I, so, because I already gave it away, yeah, that's game. Okay, because I already gave it away to you, I want to see if Viper can get it without, there's no line. Oh, yeah. 
Alright, let's, let's reveal. Yeah, um, I would like to see... Ancestral into... Ooh, so there was the red mana. Not that it mattered then. Oh, yeah, let's... Keep revealed. Ooh! Spicy. Spicy. Yeah, at that point, unfortunately. So, Ancient Tomb, three mana, and then you can play... Like, Sphere doesn't work when you're behind. Crucible, but what are you getting back? Inventor's Fair, but you only have two mana. And Staring Bridge, if I can get it off, a block still doesn't save me as I need both bridge and glass. Yeah, that's right. There's no way to get both. Um, yeah, so if I had attacked, block here, uh, and then they still have the Mox. Oko can turn it into a creature, though, because I realized a little bit late that Oath is a May. I knew that. I've even pointed out on camera, but for some reason right now I forgot it. Game 3 hand was nuts. Just a lot. Only a lot. How'd you sideboard? Let me see if I can pull my sideboard cards out real quick. There's Chalice. Ooh. Deck pile. That's a weird way of putting it, but I, I guess it's technically true. Wait, wait, wait. Let's just go find card. That makes much more sense. Oh yeah, they're they're over here. That's right. That's why there were so few cards. Uh, in Snaring Bridge, or excuse me, in Snaring Bridge, in Energy Flux, in Snaring Bridge, and Damping Sphere. These all came in. So game one, I misread what deck you were on. This is open deck. Oh, it's, it's, it, it happens. It's fine. It's fine. This is open deck list, but nevertheless, you're tired. It works. Um, and I ran. Then you time walk and strip mine me, and I ran out of lines. Say for Oko, I have a few turns I can drop Bridge. So Bridge in and of itself isn't enough against Oko, because of course, Oko can turn that into an Elk. So, looked at your list, saw Oko's and controlly stuff, thought you were on Bug. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, you know, one of the joys of running uh, Oath is that it takes so few slots in the main deck that it's possible to miss what your opponent's on. Even though, I mean, t to be fair, uh, this is how I do all of my decks. So you see the creatures, they're, they're separate. You see the enchantments, they're separate. It's not like, no offense to anybody else here, but look at this, it's just alphabetical order. Mine is, is nice and neat for everybody else. That's eh, fine. It uh, definitely cost me game one. Ooh. When I keep six, bottom graft. Oh no! Oh, bottom graft digger's cage. Oh, because they misread the deck. Ah. Oh. It's possible I could have gotten out from there, but I'd have to look back to see what I hit with, uh, with Oath Triggers. With the Oath Trigger. Also, if you found Emmy instead of Blightsteel, I would have won because you milled so many. <laughs> um, that's... Let me see. Let's see. Oh, also, I, I just realized I, I misspoke about uh, gra uh, Grave Hate against... Uh, they can't use Grave Hate against Oath, because the creature doesn't actually go in the grave. Uh, you reveal it, and if it's not, then it goes... In. Okay. So I, I miss... I said that incorrectly earlier. They can use Surgical on the other stuff that's in the grave, like Dragon Breath, so... I don't know how I missaid that. Again, Tire. Bridge was in hand with mana to do it after Annihilator. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I'm trying to think if I had a way... I might have... been able to... discard... BS, BC for another turn, but, huh, would be needed too. Oh, <laughs> oops, I didn't mean to hit caps. AT. Caps like an old person. I'm tired. I'm tired. Good night. Fuck no, it's okay. This is this is fun. It's mostly that the tabs are so big that the singleton it cut off part of the deck when I skimmed. 
There were a lot of singleton cards in my deck. That is that is true. Um, maybe their screen is a lot smaller. Maybe they're looking at their phone. So that actually can make sense. If you're if you're seeing so many singletons and you're just skimming over. Uh, okay, that that could be it. Singleton. Uh, you know, I have an actual singleton deck I'm going to submit for the next season. You know, I have an actual... <laughs> Still technically in fact. Of course. You know, as you do, I can't not run in fact. So, uh... Oh, and then, yeah, the other cards. Uh, what are the cards I took out so I can show the opponent? So, here's my sideboard. Uh, Flusterstorm. Imperial Seal. And Gush. There we go. God Pharaoh's statue. Yeah, that's that's a little awkward against me. Unfortunately, God Pharaoh's statue is just way too slow. Uh, Null Rod came out. That's interesting. No rod out is interesting given the time machine combo I have. I guess one is fine. I guess one is fine. Alright. And then there's Ensnaring Bridge, Graft Digger's Cage. Yeah. Did this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, am I going? Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Let's see. There's vipers. Oh, I'm blind. Three graft diggers in the in the main one in the side. I I missed that. Okay, so see, it happens, folks. Skimming, it, it happens. <laughs> Why would you only run three in the main? Why would you do that to yourself? I could hit worm coil off oath as another hit. Interesting. Interest. Ooh. Ooh. Word gore over here. Interesting. Thought. It, it's not likely to happen because, after all, Oath only triggers if you have uh, fewer creatures than your opponent, and if they have a creature, say off Forbidden Orchard, and then I get a creature, well, we'll be even, so they won't get a trigger. So I, I think that that's probably wrong, but. I don't know. I If it were me, I would have kept them out and then had the two Null Rods. Maybe not the best thought. I mean, Null Rod doesn't hurt them very much at all, uh, but it does stop the time machine. You know, it, it is what it is. It's okay. It's okay, Viper. Oh! I feel like I learn something every time I play against you. All three times now. Two or three times. Oh, sh should have brought in the other stacks. In this case, yeah, it's not a creature, and it helps to... So if I drop early Oath, but I don't have a way to turn it on, you can claw your way back into the game. Claw me out of the game. Almost switched them back in three because I couldn't stall Moxen this time. Smokestack, one of its weaknesses is that it's it's slow, so... Uh, unfortunately, if you're on the draw, your opponent gets to kind of have their way first. Yeah, that's just, that's how it goes. Smokestack is slow. It's inevitable. It's, you know, one of the <laughs> most miserable cards in Magic to play against. Oko is messed up, though. Only all of the yes. Oko's no joko. I can't not. I'm sorry. Yeah, th this this card, not a very <laughs> not a very balanced magic card, as you can imagine. Banned in how many formats now? I don't actually know if it's banned. I think yeah, banned in historic, standard, pioneer, and modern. Yeah, you jerk, <laughs> you jerk, dude. Okay, now you're good. All right. Well, thanks for playing. Ooh, hello. More word gore over here. Thanks for playing. I am so, I need to rest. I need to rest. I, no, no, no. Yeah, I'll rest for a bit and then get back to writing. 
These two are also messed up, but one has been restricted since the last time we played. Yeah! <laughs> Think Golos will get the axe? Ooh, hello. That's a... Uh... That's an interesting question. Maybe that's something that I ought to answer in a video. I, I don't think that Golos quite crosses that line, but then again, as we've seen in the past, for me, that line is pretty far out, because I didn't think that Narset needed to get restricted. Even though Narset's, again, not the... not the most fun card to play against, she's not a wing con herself. Whereas something like this jerk over here, to be fair in Vintage, he's slow enough, he's not as broken outside of Oath. Uh, you can still run him, he's still, a, he's like Deathrite Shaman. He's a wing con, he does the job, but he really specializes in certain kinds of decks, but even then he's not broken in my, in the context of the format, in my mind's eye. I don't think I get the mana for that soon, no. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, on the re restricted list. Probably not over the line, right? No, I'm not saying going off Golos. <laughs> that That is that is a seeming like a good deck for you. Um, you're 2-2 two, two now, I'm 3-1. I think Golos is quite over the line. Yeah, he's good. I'm inclined to agree. Golos is held by held back by the fact that it's five mana, uh, and the land comes in tapped, and those two help to keep it from being as if you make honestly. I think if you made Golos six mana, but you made the land come in untapped, it would be a better card than one less mana, but coming in tapped in the context of this format because there's so many sources of. Uh, like, lands or artifacts that make multiple mana. Yeah, Workshop at least. Yeah, Workshop is a pillar. What? MW is a pillar. It can't get touched. I, I believe I've seen enough players talk about, yeah, we really ought to restrict Mishra's Workshop. I don't no, uh, the format already doesn't have a great deal of diversity. It has more than you might think looking at it. You might think like, oh, it's every deck is shop stretch and turn one combo. And thankfully that's not true. But if you restricted Mishra's Workshop, that's a lot of decks that would suddenly get a lot worse. Which is to say all of the artifact based decks other than Paradoxical Outcome get so much worse. And then the format becomes even more of a blue fest. Plus, it makes Dredge better, because right now, Walking Ballista is a great way to deal with Dredge. Because uh, you can sac you can make it lose all its counters to get uh, Bridge from Below out of the yard. So, that's always pretty neat. Uh, and they run Cage and all that jazz. Alright, that's, that's going to be it for now. I'm just talking at this point. This has always been really good. Uh... Your mom's been really no. Okay, <laughs> I had a, I had a, I'm gonna take that page out of Marin MTG's book. All right, there we go. Take care, Magic Community. I will have a nap and then see you later. Bye bye. <laughs>